Okay everybody, this video is going to focus on creating prediction equations by using regression in SPSS. We're going to be using the data set stat underscore grades, which is data about students. And in this example, we're going to predict the total class points and so that means that our total class points is going to be our dependent or y variable. Remember, your dependent variable or your y variable is what you're predicting. We're going to use the final exam points in order to make this prediction. So our final exam points in this example is going to be our one independent variable or our x variable. Now these are the results that we're going to see from SPSS, but before we review them, let's see how to actually do this in SPSS. Using SPSS, we're going to click Analyze, Regression, and Linear. Now remember what we're predicting. Let's review. We're predicting total class points, so that's our dependent variable and we're using final exam points to make that prediction. So final exam points are independent variable. Let's tell this to SPSS. So we are predicting final class points. Total, I'm sorry, I said final, total class points. So we are predicting total class points. Let's find it. Here it is. That's our dependent variable and we're predicting the total points in the class using the final exam points. So that's going to be our independent variable. We'll click on statistics. We'll click our descriptives, our model fit, and our estimates. Click continue and we'll click OK. Now in this case SPSS gives us a whole bunch of interesting goodies including the correlation, which is important because you can see our correlation is quite high between total points and final exam points. And we need a high correlation to make our prediction. Now if we scroll down, what we're actually looking for here is the coefficients. So when you run this in SPSS, you're looking for the word coefficients, and this is actually going to give you your constant value, in this case minus 3.935, and your final exam points value, or 1.7. So these two values are what we're going to use to make our prediction equation. Let's see what that looks like. Remember we said that our constant value was minus 3.935 and then our final exam points value was 1.7. So this is the result that SPSS gave us. Our total class points is our dependent variable or our y variable. We calculate this by multiplying 1.7 times our final exam points and then subtracting because it's negative our constant value of 3.935. So in other words, our prediction equation is y equals 1.70 times x minus 3.935. And again, here our x is our independent variable, which in this case is final exam points. We can use this equation to make a prediction. So again, here's our equation. We can predict and if we say that our final exam points, or x, is 65, as an example, we can use this equation to predict the total class points, or y. Our total class points are equal to 1.70 times whatever our final exam points are, minus the 3.935. So given that our final exam points, or independent variable, is 65, if we plug that into our prediction equation, we get that our y value, or our total class points, is 106.565. And that's how we use our prediction equation to make a prediction for our dependent variable total class points. Now in our second example, we're going to predict final exam points using two independent variables, x1 and x2. So our dependent variable in this second example is going to be final exam points 
and we're going to try to predict final exam points by using our first independent variable x1 which is going to be our quiz one points and our second independent variable x2 which will be previous GPA. So we're going to try to predict final exam points using quiz one and the previous GPA and we're going to see what happens. All right, here's how we do that in SPSS. We click Analyze, Regression, Linear. Now we want to get rid of the stuff from last time because remember in this case we want our dependent variable or what we're predicting to be final exam points. So let's do that. We want our dependent variable to be final exam points. And we want to predict final exam points using the quiz one points, that's our first independent variable, and we're also going to use previous GPA. So let's see, our independent variables are quiz one, so we'll move that over, and previous GPA, so we'll move that over. We're using two independent variables now to predict our one final exam points. Click on statistics, make sure everything is checked, which it is. Click continue and click OK. Here again, SPSS creates all kinds of goodies and it even shows us the correlation between final exam points and GPA, which is high enough. Our quiz one points in our GPA, that's not a high correlation, but our quiz one and our final exam is a pretty high correlation. So we have good correlations here, so we'll have a decent prediction. Now we're going to scroll down to coefficients and you can see here that we have our constant of 39.704, our quiz one points of a coefficient of 1.406, and our previous GPA coefficient of 4.057. Now let's look at these results. These are the results that SPSS gave us. And make sure that you're multiplying the correct coefficients by the correct variables. So our final exam points, so our, in, our dependent variable y, is going to be equal to 1.406 times our quiz 1 points, because that's what that's next to, plus 4.057 times our previous GPA, that's what we get from this area here, plus our constant value, 39.704. Don't forget the constant. It's a very important part of your entire prediction equation. So in other words, our prediction equation tells us that our final exam points y can be predicted by multiplying 1.406 times our quiz 1 points, or x1, plus 4.057 times our previous GPA, or x2, plus our constant value of 39.704. Using this equation, I can predict my final exam points. For example, if my quiz one score is a 7 and my previous GPA is a 3.1, I can plug in the 7 in the correct location, the previous GPA of 3.1 in the correct location, and here's my constant. I do all my multiplications, and in the end, I determine that my final exam points is going to be 62.1227 given that my quiz is a 7 and my previous GPA is a 3.1. So in this case I use two independent variables to predict final exam points. Thank you for tuning in to this how-to video. Have a great day.